Hey, so New York Jets are interested in trading for Jacksonville Jaguars defensive end Yannick Ngugwe. So, how this started. So, a guy named Mike Lombardi over on Twitter put out a tweet saying that Jacksonville Jaguars are very close to training Yannick Ngugwe, and it could happen either today or tomorrow. And he said no teams are, he doesn't know which teams are interested or not, and he ended the tweet. Another tweet later, he said that the New York Jets are really interested in Yannick Ngokwe and are kind of the front runners to land him. And this obviously has gotten a lot of Jets fans excited. Oh my god, we're going to get Yannick Ngokwe, a proven edge rusher that can help this defense, you know, boost. The New York Jets have a lot of holes to fill on this team. One of them is edge rusher. Trade for Yannick Ngokwe, it was pretty much, you know, the, it's pretty much soft. Yannick Ngokwe is a proven edge rusher in this league who has produced double-digit sacks in his career, more than Clowney. And I think he would probably be another op- a better option than Clowney because he's more proven, he doesn't commit that many penalties. And I just think it would be, you know, amazing to sign, not sign, trade for um, Ngokwe. Um, also, funny thing here, uh, Manish, Manish Mehta said that the Jets are not interested in trading for Ngokwe, meaning we are never believe Mehta he doesn't he just click bait none of it's real that you believe the opposite of what he does um now i watched metal leary's video on this and he said that go Ngokwe's, uh ceiling is 12 sacks and it's like um his floor is eight sacks and he also mentioned how the new york jets haven't really had anyone have double digit sacks since like 2015 with muhammad wilkerson but 2015 was an excellent year, so I mean, obviously someone had to have double digit sacks. But the thing is, I mean, I, you know, double digit sacks. Jordan Jenkins led the team for the past few years with the eight sacks, and that's pretty much how it's been for the past couple of years. People with five, six, seven, eight sacks is kind of really how it's been. But if the Jets were to add someone like Yannick Ngokwe, you know, we could basically just have a Pretty decent edge rusher in Jordan Jenkins on the right, I believe he plays right. And then on the left, you have Yannick Ngokwe, a proven edge rusher, a good edge rusher, who probably can make the Pro Bowl this year, and he's in this side. So I do believe that the Jets will trade for Ngokwe. This will be a good move by Joe Douglas. What it will take to get him, I would say something around a third and a fourth maybe maybe that or a second round I don't believe Jacksonville is going to say hey you know I def- like I don't think Jacksonville is going to ask for two first round picks for Nagokwe know that he isn't a pro bowl type talent he's not a player like Jalen Ramsey or Khalil Mack or Jamal Adams I mean it would be silly for Jacksonville to ask for two first round picks I think second and a fourth is reasonable knowing that he hasn't really made the pro bowl since 2017 hasn't made the NFL top 100s list since probably 2018 I think that's when the last time he made it so you know, second and fourth, hey, I'm up for it. Um, and it is a bit of a risk to trade for him because um, he signed cause the Jacksonville franchise tagged him. And since they franchise tagged him, you know, you can't really sign any players now. The timeline to sign tag players is, all, is you know, out. So if the Jets were to trade for him, it would kind of be a bit of a risk because we don't know if he's going to come back to the Jets in 2021. Kind of like how the Seahawks did with Clowney. Uh, they traded, they, you know, if they traded a bunch to this Houston, and, you know, Houston got what they needed. Uh, that was kind of a better trade by Bill O'Brien. But anyway, not the point. You know, Seattle, hoping they could have a good edge rusher, fix their edge rusher problem up. They had one. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not a Seahawks fan. But, the, you know, they had a good edge rusher, you know, help them for that year. And then, next thing you know, he doesn't resign with Seattle. Um, so if the Jets were to trade for Nagokwe, I think he would be a better situ, you know, a better player than Clowney. Uh, he produces more sacks than Clowney, doesn't have many penalties, and he probably will cost the same as Clowney, which is the downside. But I do believe Nagokwe is better than Clowney. So let me guys know what your thoughts about this down below in the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching. If you are returning, welcome back. I love having you here. If this is your first time watching the New York Jets News channel, make sure to subscribe and post New York Jets content like this every single day. And I might even upload two times a day like I'm doing today. You might get lucky. Um, so thank you guys for watching. And make sure to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and follow me on social media. It is linked down below in the description. So thank you guys for watching. This is Oscar Jets. Peace.